Hey Jumbo guys. This is your guy Zeke. Karibu kwa show. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the show and uh, thank you so much for the returning subscribers. Thank you for the new subscribers. And uh, you guys by the way uh wala fans wangu wa Doha, fans wangu wa Mtaani, fans wangu wa US. Guy niko na fans wa US. <laughs> And then fans wangu wa Saudi uh, like all over the world people are watching kiangalia kiangalia the viewers like uh, a good thing ya viewers unapata kuna watu kwa US kuna watu kwa TZ Uganda kuna watu wa Germany Australia thank you for watching so i have something new coming up i'll be hosting some other nationalities so i will I'll try as much as possible to try and use more of English and do more interviews from other nationalities. So guys, thank you for the subscribers and thank you for the support. But you would rudi kwa Kiswahili bana. Eh, kizungu. Kizungu wewe. By then, by the time I'll be hosting other nationalities, I'll make sure my Bengali English is gone. But uh, don't be surprised in kiongea come and go. You same same. <laughs> anyway, So today I have a story I need to share with you guys. This is very informative information I have for you, especially for wale watu wetu wa mtaani wa Kenya. Either you are a lady or you are a guy. So I have to share this one with you. So story ko hivi. Tuko katambla tucheza na katambla hapa. Story ko hivi. So have you ever lost your Qatar ID? And uh, once you lost your Qatar ID, what did you do? Ulifanya aje? Na the other thing, ushaisi dia mtu your Qatar ID enda tumenayo do? Na alikuambia misi na ID, mimi maybe ni kemboi ama ID yangu ijatoka. Okay. The other thing, ushaisi pata na mtu, na mtu kwa ATM ama kwa bank, haka kuambia ni aje bro, situ shikanie tutume do pamoja. Na after kutumania do, ulifanya aje? Yeah, those are the topics I want to talk about. There are three topics, ndio. Kama ushaipoteza ID, eh, na kama ushaisaidi ya mtu ID, atume nayo do and the other thing, eh, kama ushaipata mtu msaidie naye kutuma do kwa Mpesa na kwambia line yangu ifanyi, siji line ya bibi yangu ifanyi, line ya sister yangu ifanyi, so let's try to use my line or your line. So it's like this. The first story is like this, okay? Kama ushaipoteza ID Either uliko menda kukata maji ama uliko menda boat party ya chipati club anywhere ulipoteza tu your wallet ukapoteza ID na hujaipata probably iko ime expire na hujaipata it's very important guys it's very important to keep your ID make sure you just report to the nearest police station tell them to block that ID and you will get a new ID So once that ID is blocked mtu mwingine azitumia. So I believe in that ID there is a <coughs> scan barcode there which is used kwa kishikwa na karao they normally use it to scan and they get to see that uh, your your documents are legit or your ID is valid and if you have valid documents or you have any case kama unajua hapa do ukiwa na makosa kama ume violate kama ni road uh, rules like traffic rules ama idea any other offense ione kwekeaga online there is something we call metrash metrash ni kama application yenye iko link to like every individual residence mwenye anaka doha ukiona makosa ina reportiwa hapo nakumbuka kuna watu walikuwa na makosa ya kuvaa mask so you have to check online hata kama uko na kesi especially kesi maybe ulikosea ukapigana na mtu and then ukaambiwa wewe enda labda uliekewa kesi na mdosi wako ama kesi na mali ulipigana so it's very important guys ukipoteza ID you have to make sure go to a police station report the case ili ID ifungwe so that hakuna mtu mwingine atumia so why am i saying this ah there is a friend of mine alipoteza ID yake baada ya kupoteza ID yake hakwenda ku report kakaa wiki moja ya pili so the ID was almost to expire akasema ah our PRO or public relation office public relation office they will give me a new one after one month or two months 
normally ukishupata na karau uambie umesawaidi kwa nyumba you just give a number they will check online or verify ni wewe so it's very important you bring id with you sometimes unaweza pigwa fine kama hujabeba id so this person lost his id kupoteza his id kumbe alikuwa ameenda sherehe kwenda sherehe akakata maji akakata maji asubuhi kwa muka hata akuangalia kama walete yake iko na id si akaenda home ID na uto agi of you, of you. you don't normally bring out your ID like with shagwa ID anywhere unless nda kutuma do mi yangu natuanga ni kituma do na nikishikwa na nikisimamishwa na polisi ok so this guy ameka wiki ya kwanza ya pili sasile jamaa antaka kuenda kutuma pesa na realize ah ID yangu waiko kwa wallet sana za kujaribu ku, ku, kumbuka ku reverse nilipotezea wapi ID niliweka wapi nurudi kwa nyumba nitafuta kwa kabati wapi wapi auoni ID yako so akaignore akasema ah mimi misplace kwa hao actually si itakuwa renewed in the next two weeks kaachana nayo so jamaa amekaa job mwezi wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu so this guy siku moja ameenda sherehe zake kwenda sherehe zake wanatoka hivi asubuhi wakienda kwa home wakienda wa wa home kwa uba wakasimamishwa na makarao gari mbili za red lekuya hizi za red zinaitwaje lekuya la kuya moja imekuja imepiga scrambu hapo mbele imesimamisha nyingine ime, imesimama nyuma ya uba eh rada ni gani wakasimamishwa jamaa wakashikwa jamaa uba wakashikwa wakashikwa na bishti yake wakapelekwa ndani ule jamaa uba wajui pale alienda so jamaa kupelekwa ndani siku ya kwanza na masiaidia kuongeleshwa kaka hapo the whole night the following day anza kuulizwa zile madawa na uzanga ziko hapa na uliza dawa gani kuzipia na shindwa rada ni gani dawa gani mimi siuzagi madawa you remember this time ashari ni ID so ana makosa ya ID alikuwa amekata tu maji kidogo akadhani ameshuko juu ya pombe anasema hapana zile madawa mna uzanga ziko wapi unza dawa gani kasa mbisi uzagi madawa haya karawa kamrudisha ndani akamwambia so itabidi ungoje hapa karawa kaenda akafanya investigation yao bishti yake pia anulizwa the same madawa ziko wapi asema sina madawa so jema si ameka kwa cell siku ya kwanza ya pili so siku ya tatu wale makarawa kamulizo unakaa wapi unakaa na kina nani jamaa na kaa accommodation so wakatumana karao wakaenda accommodation wakaenda waka search room yake okay turn upside down kuangalia kama kuna kitu kuna madawa hakuna so reason being id yao msili tumika ku register some other five numbers vodafone number vile safari kwa unaweza register id namba zako mbili tatu this id yao msili tumika mahali ku register another five numbers So aka register number 5 na ID namba ya umse. So jamaa ameshikwa, amepelekwa mbio na mbwa zile 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 madawa ziko wapi? Kumbe zile namba 5 huyu Nigeria anatumianga kupiga madil zake huko nje. But eventually bila alifanya research zao research zao wakamwachilia juu, but realize huyu jamaa hako involved. But it's very important to kwa ID yako just go try to block it angalia data metrash enda kwa Vodafone angalia your ID iko registered to how many numbers hizo zingine kama ziko block them It's very important the other point ni kama mtu anaweza kukuambia ati nisaidie na ID yangu ati nitume do nayo and what what they normally do they will take a picture or a copy of your ID wanaona natumia ID yako kama ni makemboi kuchukua nyumba so they will go lease a house wachukui kama ni bed sitter watumie id yako in case anything happens na hiyo hao ama kwa hiyo hao wewe ndio utashikwa so be very careful usipatie mtu id yako the other thing anyway so the other one hao watu wanakuja wanakuambia buda eh si tushikanie tutume pesa pamoja hao watu they are very dangerous what they normally do anakuambia leta tao yako mimi nitoa tao yangu anakuambia si tutumie mtu kwa hii namba unasema ni sawa si utanitumia unatuma hiyo pesa. Ukitumia hiyo pesa, anaweka kwa namba yake alafu anakutumia pesa yako. Anakuonyesha message ndio na wewe unaona message pesa imeingia. Immediately mkiachana this person ana reverse hiyo pesa. 
Uje utajua na safari kwa mkijaribu kukupigia your number ukiwa ukiwa Qatar safari kwa safari kwa try to confirm with you number yende through so they will end up to reverse that money. Juu yeye ndio akoni ile pesa yeye anapiga hata safari kwa maana complain anasema hii pesa yangu nimetuma wrong number please reverse. Wewe by the time unafika kwa nyumba ukijaribu kuangalia balance pesa yako retrieveasiwa. This person there's no way you can find him. So be careful ukienda kutuma do don't think about other people at mtu acha tusaidiane nini no just think about yourself e queen engage to other communication hapo kwa mambo ya pesa ignore eh i'm being brief ya sina cameraman that's why <laughs> the other thing watu wa abnakra abnakla ni aje eh niliona video nyingine hapa online Uh, kuna mkenya na bash wengine bana anasema watu wa Bunakla wanakaa kachara like anasema some other kenyans kachara kachara ina maanisha very dirty like takataka kachara ni takataka in kenyan language si ndio kachara chafu takataka so this guy was referring to some other kenyans wanakaa kama kachara nguo zao ni kachara like they are not clean uh, maisha yao ni mbaya hawakai poa but I don't think kuna mtu ako na right ya kujudge watu wengine vile wanakaa ama vile wanaishi because kila mtu ako na ako na plan zake jo za kujadoa si kupiga luku hata za zingine example nao si tunakaa msharangu ni 1500 ninunue suti naenda nayo suti wapi kazi yangu ni Monday to I mean Saturday to Thursday asa zingine ata friday sina off why should i even mbona ni buy air force mbona ni buy nguo kali na hakuna mali naenda some people we never kuna watu hata tangu wakuje doha they have da waje toka kwa ile industry ile wafike doha because i want a reason some people ni introvert they don't like to go very far and then the salary you're getting see sister eh kutume kuja kutafuta do so if you are lucky kukaa doha you are lucky to be in the like the open city you are exposed to the open city some people they are not that lucky so don't look down on others juu umepata chance ya kwenda kukadoha ama kupata pesa kupiga luku like what i believe before you are rich you must be poor before you get knowledge you must be stupid ama you must be a fool before knowledge the stupidity before kwe mwerevu lazima ukwe mjinga i think that's that's how it goes mtoto before akuje kuwa mwerevu si anaanzaga na kufunzwa anakuwa kama mjinga anakuja na kufunzwa and then and then before kwe rich unaanzia kuwa poor so don't look down on others so before anything there's some something before somewhere there's somewhere so just appreciate to maliuko leave the rest acha na wengine watu wakae na wakae na boxer watembe na boxer watembee na nguo kachara watembee na zile uniform wanavaga like leave them bro kuna mtu mimi najua yeye anavaga uniform akikuja kwa wana vango ya kulala akilala aamke aoge and the job ako na ako na ako na jeans poa kali kali brand but ana mali pa kwenda ana off then what do you expect okay mimi niko hapa mtaani napiga piga round na vaka kinyasa kangu kat, na katisho ni ujai niona doha ni mengara unaanza kusema mimi si ngarangi Sindio. Anyway, that's the story of another day. Wa Kenya maze style up. Wacheni kuchongoana. Tupendane tunatusonge mbele. Otherwise, thank you for the support. Thank you for subscribers. And let's move on together and stick around for the show. Tunaanza kuleta watu from other nationalities to waweke kwa bench. Let them share their stories and if you outside there, nda kuwa kwa show yetu. Just reach out. Ngia pale kwa comment enda ig enda tiktok ingia dm just let me know we will plan a day we sit down we share the, our experiences and we move on bro hapa tuko kwa encourage na si kutusiana si ndio shukran viewers let's watch this video video you have been passing let's watch it 
and we will see how we talk about it. Let's what we do. We jamaa mekosea. Yeah. Jesus, wale wase wana jikonstruct. Tutarudi hii site na mabaya. Talking about your issue Abu, Abu Nakla. Lazima kuko na example kwa every exactly. situation. Yeah. So nyinyi so mtakia tu mko example. Hata hao. Bye. Tikio, tikio tu. Maana ma. Hata ni ammonia dividend yenye mripiga, nyinyi mmeoga alafu wao wanapiga video nyingine pale hivyo. Yo, you know check ni aje. Nyinyi unasema kwenda huko. Ya tunajua nilikuwa abnaka la juzi. Hiyo place imeweza. Wako na kachara market. <laughs> Unajua kuna watu wa juu si si bako wallahi ni pamoja So wako wako na soko kama ya gedho wako na soko kama ya gedho acha ya gedho iko huko juzi eh bas alafu unajua ukosea kuna barabara ya kuingia bunaka haya nikuulize venja nikuulize ndege nini ndege na ndege So unapata base imefunguliwa masajioni kuanzia 3 inaitwa Kachara Market. Unapata Wahindi, ukiona upata wa Kenya huko wasema ni wa Kenya. Wanakadi. Hawa tu tunaonanga huko wanakaa tu mafala. Wanakaa kwa fupi wote same size. Abnakala. Hawa maboys wa Abnakala na hawa maboys. Hadi ruku za kwao tu ni za huko tu. Kachara Market. God have mercy upon us. Wanani siku na Kenya tunaweza wa sport wale huyu msi ametoka Kachara Market. Je, wewe ana dunga? Ana mzizi Kachara. Utapigwa wewe mwenyewe peke yake. Meja. Ndio uko ready. Uko tia. Uko ready. Cheki. Mimi sema kitu moja. Mimi nimeongea kitu yenye iko. Una cheki. So kama unataka kuni beef wewe kuja. Kuja na fact. So proud of this guy. Out of all everything anapiganga soma. Yo piga soma anatoka job anatoka Now hata kama ana time anapiga soma. Most of the time ni mimi najishutia. Lazima nitafute. Ujishutia ni. Eh, na najishuka. <laughs> Eki, kitu nasema ni mimi nilena nikapatana na DM analipa nyumba Full time salary yangu bro. Huo ni mama sim DM. And then bana wewe ndo gani? Kweli si wajinga. You feel? Unachiki sana sana nichapia maboys juu mimi nimetoka kwa kwa ribara. I know how they think because I was thinking the same. Nilikuwa napigwa dhao na so. Watu wasikufe moyo. Wasikufe. So wapi? Hey. Sasa <laughs> 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 <laughs>